COMAX C919 made a surprise appearance at the Dubai Air Show, challenging the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. Once considered a formidable rival, this aircraft's Middle East debut signals a shift in the global aviation landscape. With geopolitical tensions rising and interest in alternative suppliers growing, the jet is not just a new aircraft, but also a stark warning that the balance of power in the industry is shifting rapidly. Why is this breakthrough so important? And how could it usher in a new era of competition in commercial aviation? Let's find out. Dubai Air Show is not only a major aviation event, but also the epicenter of global aircraft competition, where reputations are built, tested, or broken. The Middle East, and particularly the Gulf region, has built a reputation for hosting some of the world's most demanding airlines, including Emirates, Qatar Airways, Etihad, Saudia, and Fly Dubai. These airlines operate in harsh environments with high temperatures, dense sand, tight long-haul schedules, and sky-high passenger expectations. The aircraft that succeed here are not simply high performance, but also excel in the harshest conditions in the real world. Comac's choice of Dubai as the first venue for the C919 in the Middle East was a bold and deliberate decision. It demonstrates that this is a market where technological excellence, reliability, and operational efficiency are not only appreciated, they are a prerequisite. By taking the stage, the Chinese manufacturer is showing confidence that its homegrown fighter is ready to be judged alongside the most advanced aircraft from Boeing and Airbus. The timing is also crucial, given geopolitical upheaval, supply chain uncertainty, and growing interest in diversifying aircraft purchases, as it positions itself to fill potential gaps in a changing global market and the final choice in Dubai the perfect destination if the goal is to confront skepticism and challenge industry assumptions. Moreover, entering a region previously dominated by Boeing's narrowbody 737 and Airbus's hugely successful A320 is a huge ambition. For decades, Gulf carriers have relied on Western aircraft not only for their performance, but also for their well-established global maintenance ecosystem financing networks, and long-term support. The C919 enters this environment, a newcomer that must demonstrate more than its basic technical specifications. To achieve this enormous ambition, every detail of the aircraft will be rigorously tested. The ability of the engine to withstand high temperatures, the stability of the avionics system in sand operations, the structural strength of the aircraft in high-frequency use, the comfort of passengers compared to Western competitors, and the actual economics of maintenance and fuel efficiency, Middle Eastern operators, known for their strict standards, will not hesitate to demand proof rather than promises. Besides, a growing number of analysts believe that Comac's appearance in Dubai marks a strategic turning point. Even if immediate orders are not fulfilled, the demonstration of readiness at such a prestigious event could change the minds of policymakers in the region. Even leasing companies, which have a large influence on Middle East fleet planning, may start to consider the C919 as a diversification hedge. In addition, governments seeking to strengthen strategic ties with China may also encourage partial adoption. If this jet proves its reliability and value, Dubai could become a gateway to wider global adoption. A bold debut in a challenging environment could end up reshaping procurement patterns in one of the world's most important aviation markets, while challenging Boeing and Airbus in ways that previously seemed unimaginable. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep discovering. Thank you. The jet has emerged as a surprising force in the narrow-body market, designed to compete head-to-head -head with aviation heavyweights like the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. At first glance, its specifications are impressive. A modern, fuel-efficient airframe, 
advanced aerodynamics, and an updated suite of avionics that meet international standards. What sets it apart, however, is how COMAC combines indigenous Chinese engineering with carefully sourced global components. By combining locally produced systems with proven foreign technologies, such as composite materials, high-performance turbofan engines, and auxiliary avionics, the aircraft leverages decades of international expertise while gradually building up a fully indigenous aviation capability. This combined strategy has enabled China to overcome technological hurdles that previously held back its aerospace ambitions, resulting in an aircraft that is both modern and internationally competitive. The arrival of the C919 has come as a shock to many in the aviation industry, especially given the hurdles it had to overcome. Years of skepticism, international sanctions, and questions about certification standards had led many experts to believe that a fully compliant commercial passenger aircraft from China was decades away. Yet it has achieved full certification, completed test flights, and is now ready for commercial service. Its existence has forced airlines, regulators, and leasing companies around the world to reconsider their assumptions about China's place in commercial aviation. The industry no longer views Chinese aircraft as regional experiments or exotics. It represents a credible alternative that should be seriously considered. What also attracts the attention of Middle Eastern airlines is the cost. The aircraft is significantly cheaper to acquire than Airbus and Boeing models, allowing airlines to expand their fleets more economically or accelerate the replacement of older aircraft. Operationally, it promises competitive fuel efficiency and lower maintenance requirements, which can translate into a significant reduction in cost per mile flown. Beyond the economic benefits, the aircraft also offers strategic value. By integrating the C919 into their fleets, airlines can reduce their long-term dependence on Western manufacturers, mitigating the risks of geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, or production delays. For a region where airlines demand both cutting-edge performance and cost-effectiveness, the aircraft offers a combination of capability, affordability, and strategic flexibility that cannot be overlooked, signaling that China has transformed itself from an ambitious competitor to a formidable player in the global aviation market. COMAX C919's arrival on the Dubai stage has shaken up the aviation industry challenging decades of Western dominance. For years, Boeing and Airbus had enjoyed a near duopoly, setting the standards for design, performance, price, and fleet strategy. But now, airlines, lessers, financiers, and suppliers are watching closely, assessing not just the aircraft's technical performance, but also the strategic implications of a new entrant in a market long considered safe. From Boeing's perspective, accustomed to competing only with Airbus, it now faces a rival that could destabilize key markets. The Middle East, a region of influence and foresight, has become a testing ground for COMAC's ambitions. Boeing may be rethinking its pricing strategies, loyalty programs, and delivery schedules, while also looking to solidify its technological edge on the 737 MAX. It also needs to ensure that its global maintenance, support, and financing network remains indispensable to airlines, who may now see Comca as an alternative that can reduce their dependence on Western aircraft Airbus. Similarly, is aware of both the competitive and symbolic challenge posed by this jet. The A320neo has long been the benchmark for narrow-body aircraft, but the prospect of airlines considering a third-party manufacturer could change perceptions of reliability, cost efficiency, and fleet strategy. Airbus may be emphasizing its technological leadership, strengthening its service network, and considering adjusting pricing and delivery commitments to protect market share. Even as analysts note that even minimal regional adoption of the C919 could force Airbus to accelerate innovation and partner with airlines. In terms of broader industry implications, 
Beyond the bilateral duopoly, the industry as a whole is facing a new reality. A credible third competitor has entered the global commercial aviation market. Leasing companies, fleet planners, and financial institutions are rethinking their risk appetite, cost structures, and diversification strategies. Overall, even partial success of the C919 could ripple across the aviation industry, reshaping orders, putting pressure on prices, and forcing Boeing and Airbus to rethink regional strategies, accelerate technology upgrades, and adjust production schedules. China's entry is more than just another plane on the market. It signals a turning point in the global aviation landscape, challenging the long-standing dominance of Western manufacturers and underlining that the era of unrivaled dominance is ending as competition becomes fiercer than ever. Despite the excitement surrounding the C919's debut, they enter the Dubai Air Show with several significant challenges that will determine how seriously global airlines take the aircraft. One of the most pressing issues is certification. The aircraft is currently certified only in China, and while the manufacturer has publicly expressed interest in seeking approval from regulators such as ESA and the FAA, little concrete progress has been made. Middle Eastern Airlines, renowned for their high standards of safety, compliance, and international interoperability, will undoubtedly question whether the aircraft can achieve Western certification anytime soon. Without it, cross-border operations and fleet planning will become more complex, causing some airlines to hesitate. Another major concern is production capacity. Even if the aircraft looks impressive on paper, airlines still need confidence that they can produce the aircraft at scale, meet delivery schedules, and maintain consistent quality over time. The arrival of two aircraft in Dubai is a show of confidence, but operators will be pushing to demonstrate that they can maintain production, avoid delays, and ramp up production to match the pace of Boeing and Airbus. With continued pressure from China's supply chain and reliance on both domestic and imported components, questions about long-term stability are inevitable. Equally important is after-sales support, a key factor in any fleet decision. Airlines will want to know that COMAC can establish a robust maintenance and spares network across the Middle East, one that ensures quick turnaround times, reliable spare parts supplies, and well-trained technicians. Building such infrastructure is expensive, time-consuming, and necessary to win long-term trust. They must demonstrate not only the C919's good performance, but also its commitment to supporting operators throughout the aircraft's life cycle. In short, the Dubai Air Show, scheduled for November 17th to 21st, has become more than just a showcase. It is the stage for COMAX Global Assault. The arrival of this jet marks a historic moment for commercial aviation, highlighting that innovation is no longer limited to the West and that competition is intensifying. The world is watching closely because even a single order can change procurement strategies, challenge long-standing alliances, and rewrite the rules of global aviation. In this context, COMAC's entry is more than just an aircraft. It is a turning point, signaling the rise of a new rival that has the potential to reshape the balance of power in the industry. What do you think? Can the C919 win the trust of international airlines? Or will certification, production, and support challenges hold it back? Share your thoughts below. Have a fun and safe flight. Goodbye and see you again.